Kia ora, Daniel here. Kind of a follow-up to that intro video, wanted to do a wee bit of a what's in the bag kind of thing, show you some of the video kit that I'm using when I'm out shooting, uh, which may or may not go some way to explain why things look the way they do, for good or bad. It's kind of like, you know, when you've got a friend or a family member with a toddler, and you go around and the two-year-old's like, hey, you want to see my toys? And you're like, yeah man, show me the Legos, Duplos. That's me and you right now. So first up, I won't be able to show you everything in a flat lay because, well, some of it's strapped to the ceiling filming said flat lay. I had to ask the missus to kindly film a couple bits for me. So everything I shoot is on an iPhone 11, usually rolling Filmic Pro, which I really enjoy. Bit of a learning curve to it, but I think I got it figured out now. Or well, first light for photies. I was using Moment Pro camera for a while, and I do still like it, but Filmic had a bit more built-in hardware support, which sold it to me. For lenses, I have a Moment Macro for photos. That was the first one I got, and my favorite one to use, but probably the one I use the least out of all of them. For filming, I'm either rocking the telephoto or the anamorphic. I am slightly fuming about the anamorphic. Just after I bought the blue lens one, they released the gold lens one, which looks way better for what I wanna do. Just gotta figure out a way to justify it to myself, but no luck as yet. Filters aren't something I've thought too much about until I try to shoot some stuff outside on a bright day and mess with the shutter speed, and yeah, that didn't work. So I went ahead and got the Go Variable ND. This is the ND 8 to 32, or three to seven stop. Uh, of course, they've changed their name now to Earth, but I think the filters are the same, and they are solid filters regardless. Also recently picked up the Moment Cinebloom Diffusion Filter, just the 10%. Really love the case that it comes in, but when it arrived, I don't know if it was because of the cold or whatever, but it took me like 15 minutes to get into that thing. Possibly the best Christmas gift ever from my wonderful fiance, a free fly Movi cinema robot. And I obsessed over this thing for like months and I've already had a blast shooting with it. And for when I need something simpler than the Movi, but want a bit more stability, I have a shoulder pod and also a wee gorilla pod if I need a tiny tripod. I will pick something more full size up down the line, but this is doing me fine for now. For audio, rolling with the crowd favorite, the Rode Video Micro, things a beast worthy of all of those good reviews. And to keep it all together and ready to go, probably my favorite piece of the entire kit, the Moment Rugged Sling. This is the six liter version. It fits everything perfectly. It's super comfortable. And in my opinion, it looks good while doing so. And that's my toys. But let me know what's in your kit. Are we using any of the same stuff? Or is there anything that you use that I should most definitely be adding into my kit? Drop a note in the comments. And if you have made it this far, I'd love if you could leave a like. Decided I'm gonna trial a new sign off for my videos. Started off with a Kiwi greeting and sign it off in the most Scottish way I can think of toast to good health and a wee dram. This is the Mortlick 16 year old. Some good stuff. So thanks for watching. Slancher.